Hi, this is Dave from Notes and Volts, and in this video, we're going to learn how to add buttons to our MIDI controller project. Once again, I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters for helping to make this video possible. All right, let's get started. Before you start, make sure your Arduino software has the Arduino MIDI library installed. Part 1 of this video covers the installation process. To build this project, you'll need the following. An Arduino Uno, 8 momentary normally open push buttons, a MIDI jack, 2 220 ohm resistors, a breadboard, and some jumper wires. Visit notesandvolts.com for a full parts list, program download, and more. I'll put a link in the video description below. First, let's look at how to build a circuit. Grab a momentary, normally open push button. Any type will do. I'm using this style because it fits nicely on a breadboard. If your button has four pins like this one, be aware that a pair of pins on each side will be electrically connected. When you wire the button, make sure you don't connect both wires to the same connected pair. Now we're ready to connect the button to the Arduino Uno. Connect one side of the button to the Arduino's ground pin labeled GND. We'll connect the other side of the button to one of the Arduino's digital pins. You can connect buttons to pins 2 through 12. On the Arduino Uno, pin 13 is permanently connected to the board's LED, so it doesn't make a good input. Let's connect our button to digital pin number 2. Now we just need to build our MIDI output circuit. This is the same circuit we used in part 1 of this series, so you may have already built it. First, you'll need your MIDI jack. In this diagram, I'm showing the jack with the face forward. Make sure you correctly identify the pins on your MIDI jack. Now grab a pair of 220 ohm resistors. We'll connect the Arduino's TX pin through the resistor to pin 5 on the jack. Next we'll connect the Arduino's 5 volt pin to pin 4 on the jack through the second resistor. Finally we'll connect pin 2 on the jack to one of the Arduino's ground pins. Now that we have a plan, we're ready to start building. Once again, I'm going to use my 63 pin breadboard for this build. I'll start by placing 8 buttons on the board. Now I'll connect the bottom right hand pin on each button to the board's ground rail. Next, I'll place my MIDI jack in the upper right hand corner of the board. Now I'll connect pin 2 on the MIDI jack to the board's ground rail using a couple of jumper wires. Next, I'll grab a 220 ohm resistor and connect one side to pin 5 on the jack. I'll connect the second resistor to pin 4. Connect the other side of this resistor to the breadboard's positive rail. Now we're ready to connect the board to the Arduino. I'll run a jumper wire from the Arduino's digital pin 2 to the upper left hand pin on the first button. I'll connect the other 7 buttons to the Arduino's digital pins 3 to 9 using the same technique. Next I'll use a long jumper wire to connect the resistor on pin 5 of the MIDI jack to the Arduino's TX pin. 
Finally, I'll connect a wire from the Arduino's ground pin to the ground rail on the breadboard. Use a second wire to connect the Arduino's 5 volt pin to the positive rail. Now we're ready to upload the program. Connect the Arduino board to your computer with a USB cable. To start, you'll need to visit notesandvolts.com to download the MIDI controller program. I'll put a link in the video description. Open the zip file and extract the file folder. Inside the folder, you'll find three files. Open the one named MIDI controller. To make this program work, make sure you have installed the Arduino MIDI library. Check out part one of this video to see how this is done. Now we just need to configure the program for our buttons. Scroll down to the set number of controls used section and change the number of buttons variable to eight. Now we'll move down to the Define Directly Connected Buttons section. I included 8 sample buttons in the program that you can use just by removing the comment marks. Now we need to set the parameters for each button. The first parameter is the pin number on the Arduino the button is connected to. Remember we use pins 2 to 9. The next parameter, command, will set the behavior of the button. If you set it to zero, the button will play a MIDI note when pressed. If you set it to one, the button will send a CC or continuous controller message instead. Finally, if you set the command parameter to two, it will turn on the toggle function, which means you have to push the button once to turn it on and a second time to turn it off. For this example, we'll set buttons 1 to 6 as note buttons, button 7 as a CC button, and button 8 as a CC button with the toggle function enabled. Next, we'll set the note number parameter. This is the value of the note number or the CC message that you want the button to trigger. I'll use the value 60 to 65, which is C to F in MIDI. Finally, we'll set our MIDI CC number to 64, which is the sustain pedal on most keyboards. Next, we'll set the MIDI channel number for each button. I'll set them all to channel one for this example, but keep in mind, they could be all on different channels if that's what you want. The last parameter is the debounce time for each button. This adds a slight delay to the reading time of the button to eliminate false responses. 5 is a good setting for this parameter. Finally, we have to add all the buttons to our button array. To do this, simply type an ampersand sign and then the name of the button. Make sure all the buttons are separated with a comma. Now our program is fully configured, so press the upload button to send the code to your Arduino. When you see the done uploading message in the lower window, you are good to go. Now it's time to test our program. Plug in a MIDI cable to the MIDI jack on the breadboard. You can connect the other end of the cable to a MIDI keyboard or to your computer through a MIDI interface. On my computer, I've opened up some MIDI monitoring software so I can see the buttons in action. Notice as I press and release each button, a MIDI note on and MIDI note off command is showing up in my MIDI monitor. The note values are the same as we set in our program. Button number seven was set up as a MIDI CC command and you can see it is working as planned. Button number eight was a toggle button, so we have to press it once to set it. And then a second time to release it.
We can also push multiple buttons at once. Notice how they all trigger and then all release simultaneously. If all your buttons behave as expected, congratulations, you've completed the project. Now you can connect this to your favorite MIDI synth and experiment with different note and CC values. Once again, thanks for watching and make sure to visit notesandvolts.com for more projects and tutorials. So until next time, go make some noise.